We're doing Tetris, baby. <laughs> oh, right. Video. <laughs> my bad. All right. Uh, right. Yeah, Tetris. Let's do Tetris. If you're not familiar with my videos, first we're going to need to build the game. So one, two, three, let's go. Let's, let's go and do some... Some, uh, like, go, go, gadget coding. Yeah, <laughs> intro. Done. That's a take. That's a background. Let's get some blocks going. That's a, a fuck. That's a block. Yeah, it's happening, baby. We're almost there. Evan, settle down. All you've done is draw a square on a larger square. Oh, really? Watch this. So the block can move down. Yeah, fucking awesome. Whatever you say, just let's move on. Fucking hell. What a time to be alive. Okay, we got some blocks. So now we're going to need some shapes. It was at this point that I realized that I had no idea what the fuck I was doing and just gave up and started playing Tetris. I was actually testing how each shape span and while I could have just Googled this, I decided to reinvent the fucking wheel and figure it out for myself. Okay, let's cover some Tetris facts. Fact one. It's fucking hard. Ah, disgusting. Fact two. You have pieces that be spinning. Oh, that's pretty simple, hey? No, you're stupid. The problem is that the point where the piece rotates around changes for each piece. For example, the square piece rotates around its center like this. Wait, oh, wait. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. But the line piece can't spin around its center because then it would be in a half position between blocks, which is no good. So each piece has a unique spin point, which I found by just spamming the rotate key and fucking eyeballing it. Even though I could have just Googled Tetris piece spin and wow, would you look at that? It's actually the first fucking picture. Fucking brilliant, Evan. Fucking brilliant. Oh, well, mistakes were made, but now you know how shit spins. So you're welcome. Okay, we are getting a little bit ahead of ourselves here since we currently only have a block which can move down. Okay, back at it. Let's make some shapes. Can you fucking stop? So sorry, sorry. Thank you. Okay, shape's done and welcome to Tetris Peace Once a Why. Let's introduce today's lucky bachelors. Our first bachelor is a chubby fucker who doesn't like to spin. It's Square Peace. Next up, we have the always reliable LPs. Mmm, look at that angle, I, gu I guess. I don't know, shut up, I'm doing my best. If you want a man who's tall, thin, and can complete your Tetris, if you know what I mean, then this next contestant might be for you. I'm talking about the one and only line- Oh my god! You okay, buddy? No? I, I think it's a no. Oh uh, yeah, cut it. Cut the show. Can't be fucked finishing this dumb bit anyway, so just cut it. Back to the coding. <laughs> Okay, so the conclusion from the dumb bachelor thing was that we have shapes pretty much working. But at the moment, the game highly resembles your mama, so we're gonna need to make some aesthetic changes. There we go, that's tons better. Okay, so we got the bad boys fallen, but we don't yet have them spinning. So let's get that done. This is probably where I should have done the whole explanation of where all the shapes rotate. But you know what? Fuck it, this video's a shithole anyway. Okay, back to the code. Let's get them bad boys spinning. Okay, that should do it. Let's see how well we did. Okay, cool, it's span, and oh, yeah, sure, just stay there, That's, that works, that works. All right, I've, I've seen enough of this. I'm pretty sure I know what the problem is. Should be a quick fix. Fuck! Ugh, okay, well, <laughs> that's embarrassing, but here's what we're gonna do. I have a plan. Here it is, a little bit of audience participation here. I'm gonna go ahead and fix that, and you're not gonna insult my intelligence in the comments. All right, ready, and go. Okay, I got it, and let's just say... Hit the beat. Boys be spinning. Okay, fuck this. There's gonna be a long video if it's taken me this long to rotate a fucking shape. You said it, not me. Man, fuck you. What are you, what are you doing? Get out of here. Fucking hell. What a loser. Okay, so shapes can spin and move down. Check. Let's actually get some sort of collision logic on the shapes so we can, you know, play Tetris. 
If you're not following, that that is what we're doing here. That is the end goal. If you're just joining us, fucking congrats on starting a video halfway through. Did you miss the whole, it's Tetris type? That was like, I started the video as aggressively as possible. The collision logic is hella simple. I've just got a grid which holds all the blocks which are currently stationary on the map. We then just take the future position of the current piece and see if there are any blocks in that spot. If there are, then we can't move there. If there's not, then go nuts. That's it, simple shit. Okay, you ready and action. Oh, yes. Yeah, oh, oh, oh dear. Yeah, that's a, <laughs> that's a problem. That didn't even happen. Yeah, Um. okay, I'll be back. Okay, there we go, that should fix it. Hey, there we go, baby. Yes, yeah, <laughs> he's done it. Not bad, Evan, not bad at all. Oh God, um, ignore that. Yeah, that's not a problem. I can never win. Okay, let's see if we can get some horizontal movement happening. Yeah, that's very nice. And I'm getting cocky, let's add some rotation. Ooh, uh, no, nope, it's fucked. Uh, yeah, definitely fucked, okay. All right, so we got the spinning shapes working and we are ready to party. What's next? Well, we're done, aren't no, we? No, bad code bullet. That's stupid. You're stupid. Yeah, I know. Fuck you, I hate you. Oh, come on, dude. That's a bit far, don't you think? I hope you die in like, in like a hole with at least three spiders in it, which bully you for how stupid you are. The, the spiders are bullying me? Yeah, it's like Charlotte's Web, but instead of Radiant or some shit, it says you're fucking stupid. You done? You're stupid. Are you done? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I think I've made my point. All right, no, we're not done. We've still got to do the line clearing shit. Then, and only then, are we done, okay? Okay, uh, clearing the lines is pretty fucking simple. This really is an easy game to make. I'm just bad at my job. All we really need to do is check if the line is full, and then if it is, uh, remove it, which you probably could have guessed. I don't know why I'm explaining this to you. Get it, it's Tetris. All right, explanation done. Check that off the list. Okay, I've got that implemented, and let's fucking party! Okay, a uh, new problem. I have to actually clear a line to test this shit. Let's go! First try. Oh, oh no. Nope. 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 That just keeps happening. No. Oh, come on. Fuck you. Kick me while you're down, why don't you? Okay, uh, apart from the pieces which you couldn't see which were there, and apart from the pieces which you could see which weren't there, that went well. Ah, uh, fuck you, spider. I'm not stupid. No, I'm not. Oh god, what the fuck? Why is it so detailed? How do you even know what that is? How is that color? I have so many questions! Spiders are fucking me! Alright, so whatever, back to it. Before I start crying, let's fix that. Okay, there we go. Everything works the way it should, and I shouldn't get my lunch money stolen by an asshole spider. Okay, now all that's left to do is make it look pretty. Ba -la, 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 la Wow, so pretty. Look at that aspect ratio, woo! Okay, I've added some functionality, which I can't be bothered explaining, but basically you can now see the next piece to come and you can hold a piece if you don't want it. You can just chuck it up there for a bit. Again, I'm just explaining Tetris. This is Tetris, you've played Tetris, it's Tetris. All right, okay, now all that's left is for you to admire my ninja as fuck Tetris skills. Oh no, fuck. Okay, stupid game. Anyway, that's enough of that. Let's move on. It's AI time. <laughs> God damn. Transitions be on point today. Fuck yeah. Okay, okay, let's talk AI. I thought about doing like some fancy reinforcement learning shit, but I've seen many videos of people trying and failing, and it feels like it's gonna end up like my 2048 video, which, if you've seen it, is not a good thing. You're so close. Thomas, you dumb mother... Okay, so here's the plan. First, we need to generate all the possible positions the current shape can finish in. For example, if we've got this bad boy here, it can end up in all these positions. Pretty simple. So first up, we need to figure out how to generate all these positions. Now, it is important to write an algorithm which runs efficiently and quickly because we're gonna need to run this search for every single shape. This would have been a smart thing to do. However, I couldn't really be fucked. So instead, I just bought a beast of a computer which can brute force it. I've seen a couple of other people do this because a bunch of people have tried this because it's fucking Tetris. But what they do is just drop the piece from each horizontal a position and then each rotation and just see where it lands. This does the job, I guess, but it means you can't do fancy moves like moving blocks under other blocks or doing T-spins or anything, which isn't just dropping that bad boy from the sky. And we don't want that because here at Code Bullet Studios, our number one priority is quality because it's definitely not quantity. So let's do something way less efficient and in many ways objectively worse, but it will reach all possible end positions. So you can do fancy shit like T-spins and stuff. I don't think it'll happen, but it's a cute idea. 
Essentially, we just simulate every possible combination of key presses the player can input, and for each combination that results in a piece reaching a new end position, add it to a list of finished positions. It's a bit smarter than that, but you get the gist, it's brute forcey as fuck. I've brought shame to myself and my family, but you know, fuck you, it works. Alright, so I've coded that up, and this should rotate through all possible positions the current piece can land. Here we go! Bruh, come on, really? That's not even, like, close to right. Ah, oh, now it's off the screen. Okay, I think we've seen enough of that. Hey, hey, no. Don't you fucking start, mate. I'm more teen your ass, boy. I'm serious. I'll fucking do it. Okay, so yeah, you know, you live, you learn, or you can use the philosophy I prefer. You fail, you forget. It's way easier. Okay, so here's what I achieved on the very first try without any problems or bugs to speak of. Fantastic, it works! I'm a great programmer. Okay, so now that we can generate all the possible moves, we need to pick the best one to perform. This is kind of the backbone of the AI. We need to figure out which moves are good moves and which moves are bad moves. This is done by assigning a point score to each move. The move with the highest score is chosen as the best. So all we really need to do is to quantify what a good move is and what a bad move is. Let's start off really simple. Anyone who's played Tetris before will tell you that this is a dog shit move. The main reason it's trash is because you've left holes under your piece. And holes are bad. Rule one is holes are bad. We'll define a hole as an empty space with a block above it. So all these bad boys are holes. So all we need to do is give the AI a little slap if it's gonna generate a hole and sit back and watch as our AI finally comes to life. and I hate you. So the problem with this is it has no interest in keeping its stacks low. As long as the piece fits without generating a hole, then it doesn't really give a shit where it goes. Like this move, it's, it's bad. Like this is a cancer tier move. But from its perspective, it doesn't generate any new holes. So you know what? It's a great move. This brings me to my second rule. We're gonna punish moves based on how highly they're placed. So this move is worse than this move. Pretty simple. Okay, let's run this bitch. And this actually does way better. Like we're cooking, it's finally happening. It was rare if the previous algorithm cleared a single line. Now this bad boy can clear almost 300 lines before dying. Okay, now we're talking. And we're just getting started, baby. 300 is nothing. I'm going for the world record. And wait, give me a sec. It looks like the world record is uh, 5,000 lines cleared. Okay, that's more than I thought. But that's fine. I'm coming for you, you little bitch. Anyway, let's improve this bitch. There are still problems with the current solution, but before we address them, I'm going to make use of the hold function. At the moment, I've just been kind of ignoring that it exists, but by using it, we should be able to greatly improve what the AI can achieve. The idea is that if the best end position for the held piece is better than the best end position of the current piece, then we use the held piece. It's a pretty simple change, but it should have a big impact. So let's dance. Yeah, I'm going to have to speed this up because otherwise I'm going to be here for fucking ages. And yeah, it does go for fucking ages. Some of the runs reach up to a thousand lines cleared, which is awesome. The problem is that some of them die at like line 50, which is not ideal. And it basically means it's relying a lot on the luck of the draw, which is not what we want. We want it to be consistent. The major problem that I can see is the AI's reliance on line pieces. It has a tendency to create these pillars of empty spaces, which is not a huge problem when there's only one empty pillar. This is actually the go-to strategy if you want to slam some Tetrises. The problem occurs when the AI creates more than one of these pillars. That way, when you dunk a line piece down there, nothing happens. You need another line piece before the lines are cleared, and then by the time you've got the other line piece, the pillars have grown even deeper, and eventually you die because there just aren't enough line pieces. So the solution I thought of was just to simply penalize any moves which resulted in a pillar of three or more empty blocks, just like we did the holes. All right, and I've coded that up, and so penalizing empty pillars is added. Let's see if it helps. Right, I'm gonna speed this up to a point where you're just gonna have to trust me that this is a game of Tetris. I technically could just be drawing random blocks in random positions and randomly increasing the score, and you wouldn't know, but everyone knows I'm the most reliable, trustworthy, consistent guy on the internet, so you don't have to worry. I'm here for you. Just like Zuck. My man! And you know what? I don't give a shit if you trust me. What are you gonna do? I'll see you in court. You can't prove shit, boy!
Oh, and we're approaching 5,000. Forgot about that. That's the thing. Oh, yeah. Fuck you. Oh, wait. Give me a second. Uh, Harry Hong. I mean, not to downplay your achievement, which is objectively worlds better than mine, but fuck you. Your shit. Get good, bruh. Get good. Oh, feels good, man. Feels good. Fuck that guy. Woo. Okay, let's super speed this bitch because this is going great. All right, let's pick it up even faster because, you know, life is short and I'm honestly getting bored of Tetris. And yep, looks even less like a game of Tetris. <laughs> Look at the next piece. That's some trippy shit. Okay, we hit 10,000. Wow, hopefully this doesn't go on forever because I got places to be. I mean, I don't really. I've got videos to ma- Oh, who am I kidding? That's even less true. Just die soon so I can upload this video and disappear for three months. Please, I got, I got disappearing to do. Hey, there we go. I didn't actually see what the score was or what went wrong, but I don't care at this point. Let's just round it up to an even 15,000. Okay, uh, yeah, I could probably improve it, but you know, uh, like it's already a ridiculous game of Tetris. It's already sped up to the point where it doesn't look like Tetris. I could make it better, but you know, yeah, this video is already getting long and I can't be fucked. Oh yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. There are a few things that I wanted to put in this video, but it's already long and I can't be fucked at the moment. I think it should be possible to do like an infinite run through of the game. And I'm sure that if I Googled it, I'd find something. But as per usual, I did zero research for this video. It would also be really dope to use Python to read in the screen and to bypass the keyboard to control a pre-made Tetris game. Kind of a similar sort of thing to my Storm the House with piano tiles or like the Pong thing I tried. And I found a very good victim for this. It's a, a website called Jatris where you can play against other people and there are like high scores and shit which would be fun to destroy and yeah so let me know in the comment section if that's a video you would like to see I might just do it anyway because bullying nerds in Jatris sounds like a lot of fun to me or I might not it really depends on what I feel like but I'll still be interested in seeing what you guys want to see all right I'm done uh, I hope you guys are keeping safe in this shit fight of a year uh that's all I'm gonna say about that but yeah stay safe uh bye later <laughs>